Susan, and welcome to a new day of devotions as we are continuing our theme this week of unity in diversity. And today we're going to be talking about unity in faith. Um, as we think about, uh, as Ephesians 4 5 says, that we have, we are called to one Lord, one faith, one baptism. And um, one of the things that I want to talk about for just a minute is to remind us um, that those of us who are involved and committed uh, to the Christian Church, Disciples of Christ, the denomination to which we belong, um, which uh, actually began as a movement for unity um, just in the early 1800s as uh, pastors around the country began to see that the divisions, the, all of the different denominations, which, by the way, we became one, but all of the different representations in, in denominations were really um, kind of anathema to what Christ intended in the beginning, to have one faith, one Lord, one baptism, everyone coming together. And so there, this unity movement happened it, with the effort, with the, with the, um, with the intent of bringing people together, that there might just be one Christian church. Um, and uh, actually the Christian Church Disciples of Christ came together from two unity movements, but they all felt like that the one thing that brings us together is not doctrine, it is Jesus Christ, our faith in Jesus Christ. And you know what? That is still true today that no matter what the label we might have on a particular church, our faith in Jesus Christ is what brings us together. Um, and so as we look at uh, this, one of, the, one of the slogans that we had early on is there is no creed but Christ, no book than the Bible. Um, and we are believers in baptism. And uh, so this past week we actually had um, some baptisms and a confirmation from a child that was baptized as an infant in another uh, communion in the church. Um, and you know, the thing that I love about the disciples is that we, even though we practice believer's baptism or baptism by immersion, it is still this understanding that God is at the center, our faith in Christ is at the center, and whether we are baptized as infants and our parents dedicate themselves to raising us up till we come to an age where we can confirm our faith in Jesus Christ, or whether for the very first time we profess faith in Christ and we are immersed, it doesn't matter. Um, all of that comes together through our common belief in and faith in Jesus the Christ. Um, so today, um, Paul says that um, in, verse, in verse 13 of chapter 4 of Ephesians, Paul says, Until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. Now, none of us arrives at that in this life, but we can strive to grow into that kind of maturity of faith. And the true unity of faith is in the God that we put our faith in, amen? Um, you know, that is what it is. And Paul continues um, in verses 14 through 16 of chapter four then we will no longer be infants tossed back and forth by the waves and blown here and there by every wind of teaching and by the cunning and craftiness of people in their deceitful scheming. Instead, as we said earlier this week, speaking the truth in love, we will grow and become in every respect the mature body of him who is the head, that is Christ. From him, the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love as each does its own work. The challenge for us is to, discern, is to discern where our faith is. Is it in the God that we know in Christ Jesus? Or is it in other doctrines, things that divide us? My prayer for us today is that we can claim that common that common thread that brings everything together, every ligament, every part of the body together, which is Jesus the Christ. 
Let's claim him today and let's see him in each other and affirm that as we seek unity in our faith. Amen and amen.